What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Do you know how to transfer photos from your iPhone to iPad? In today's video, I will test four different methods transferring photos from iPhone to iPad to see which one is the best way. If you have interests, follow the video and let's dive right in. The first common method is to transfer photos via AirDrop, which is based on Apple's own ecosystem. You need to make sure you've turned on AirDrop button on both your iPad and iPhone and make sure they can be both recognized by each other. So we go to the photos on iPhone and select some photos here. Tap the share button and AirDrop. Then you can see the iPad is in the list. Tap on it and you will see the pop-up window and tap accept. If both your devices are using the same Apple ID, then it will transfer instantly without any notice. Okay, it's done. Super easy. But this method is recommended when you need to transfer a few photos and videos. If you've got a lot, then move to the second method. Transfer with iTunes. First connect your iPhone to the computer and launch iTunes. Select photos on the sidebar. To import photos to the computer, iTunes suggests us to use Adobe Photoshop Elements or Windows Import Pictures. So we launch Windows Photos and click Import and choose from a USB device. Your iPhone photos will be listed here. And select the photos you want to transfer. And choose the location. Then import selected. And sooner the photos will be imported to your computer. Then we change the connection to iPad. Also choose photos from the sidebar. And tick the sync photos option. Select the folder we just imported iPhone photos. Then click done and iTunes will start syncing the photos we just imported from iPhone. Sooner it would be done. But with this method, you will find it first you need to use two different software which is quite annoying. And second the photos we sync from iTunes, you can't delete them at all. You can find the delete button for these imported photos like iPhone does. It's a bit inconvenient. So let's move on to try the third method. Transfer with iCare Phone, which is a software from Tenorshare. You can find the download link in description below. And also connect your iPhone to the computer first. First click on Manage on the menu bar. And select the photos you want to import. Choose the location and click OK. Sooner the photos will be imported. Then change the connect to iPad. This time, still on iCare phone. Also, Manage and Import. We can choose to import the whole folder or only one file. Then turn to iPad and download iCareFone app on your iPad, which can help you enable the delete function your iPad. Then click install and boom, it will start transferring. With iCareFone, you can transfer tons of photos and videos in super fast speed. It's worth trying. And last method I try in this video is by using iCloud. To use this method, you need to turn on the iCloud Photos button on your iCloud settings on both your iPhone and iPad and make sure you're logging with the same Apple ID. Now Apple provides a 5 gigs of iCloud storage for each Apple ID but only 5 gigs plan is free. If you need more space, you need to pay the Apple every single month. So it depends on you. Okay so that's all for today's video. If it any of them helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would be very grateful if you subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Stay tuned and stay safe. I will see you in the next one.